Hey everyone, lots of inquiries and emails coming through regarding black grit and CGWS. So I thought I'm going to touch base on that again. I know we've got lots of videos in the past that I've done about the products, uh, but I know most of you haven't seen them. So we're going to just run through them one more time and at the same time talk about some of the insects that exist or occur this time of the year, some of the pests on our trees. So black grit. Uh, infused magnesium phosphate so that means you get lots of green leaves and big strong healthy roots and calcium silicate which means cell wall development and strong flower fruit development as well there's no time limit as to when you apply it you can apply it on an existing tree just like this apple tree which is set fruit which all it will do is work instantly start feeding and opening up all the other nutrients in the soil so your tree can grow bigger and stronger and the same thing with all your fruiting and flowering plants or vegetables for example tomatoes this is what I play around my tomatoes and for those of you who've seen me use them in the past and for many of you who have used it have can vouch for it and say it does work and I have received those emails thank you very much uh, also before I forget pot plants a lot of inquiries can you use it on pot plants orchids flowering pots indoor plants if you like predominantly flowering plants which is where it kicks in the best and you see a bigger flush of flowers coming through so your orchids will just continuously bloom for you well not continuously but give you lots of flowers so yes you can use it quite safely on all types of pot plants uh, now CGWS and these fruit trees now CGWS is a citrus guard white spray is what we call it or citrus gall wasp spray which basically controls heat stress on trees a little bit of the coal but it does work and trials have shown that it to be very successful in controlling and combating citrus gall wasp white powder kaolin based uh, clay with our added seaweed fertilizer mixed into it but we've done trials in the past on controlling I'm just going to drop that down there for a second controlling codling moth now codling moth, pear and cherry slug on pears and cherry trees, uh, codling moth I said, aphids, white fly and more importantly citrus gall wasp. It works a treat on it. Now I've got the apple tree in front of me, last year I sprayed this tree, I didn't spray that tree, this had far less attack from codling moth. Now this year we've also got the codling moth trap up with a little pheromone button inside which attracts the uh, moth and it gets caught up in it so it leaves your tree alone. My suggestion is to do both. Hang up a trap like this, a codling moth trap, and spray it with CGWS. This will work. Now I just made this mix, I'm just going to mix it up a little bit more, I haven't shaken it. Sorry about that, I'm making a bit of a mess. And now easy hand spray, not many left. Now, ooh. I've still got my chili garlic oil spray in here. <laughs> That's the end of it there, there we go. The flowers are finished, if you don't recognize that, this is what it looks like. See this here? The back side there, this is where the fruit is. So that's a small fruit that's just set. The flower's gone, the petals have fallen off. So we could say it's pretty safe to start spraying. There are still a couple of flowers uh, on the tree, but you know the reality is, I've probably got about four or five hundred apples on here and anybody else who grows apple trees or has an orchard would say to me, why aren't you thinning them out? You know, bigger apples are better than lots of apples. Well, I'm the, of the opposite opinion, you know, the other opinion where I like lots of apples. You know, smaller apples, I can eat more of them if I want another one. And here, here's some flowers still. So they're still going. These ones have set. Now, this is something like a sundowner I haven't got the tag on it's you know 10 12 years old tree we've kept it small and this arch frame well that's to put our netting over the top our insect netting we're not going to use bird netting anymore because it's not good for the birds obviously they get caught up in it but insect netting is a lot easier but over here the granny smith this one's a lot more advanced as far as fruit set have a look at this gorgeous I probably picked close to a thousand apples off this tree and probably that much more I've given to the chooks to eat and, and Krishna. So I can spray this tree and this is where it's most vulnerable. Codling moth, tree band, and I haven't demonstrated a tree band, which is basically tape stuck inside out with a sticky side on the outside, or tree guard, which is a paste that you can apply on the trunk of your tree. It stops the, the caterpillars crawling up the tree. So that's the tree guard around the trunk codling moth trap hang it up in the tree and the spray our CGWS it's going to turn your tree white like snow but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and it is very safe to harvest the fruit 
and obviously it's many months away. But if you're spraying it on smaller plants that are going to be harvesting, uh, you know, within two or four weeks, that have ripening fruit or even foliage, it's safe. And if you get overspray on your herbs at the base, don't worry, it just washes off. Yeah, you're going to have to put it through the sink and give it a rinse. It's not a poison. Well, it's not listed as a poison. So spray your tree to the point of runoff, and when it dries, it's going to look like snowflakes all over the tree. Now, folks, these products are available on our website, facilitiesgarden.com, and also at most local garden centres. Check them out. If they haven't got it, go to our website, check out what we have on special. Plenty of great deals for you to take advantage of. Facilitiesgarden.com. From me, Vasily, Maresi.